In January 2015, eight students from MSU headed down south to Quito, Ecuador to begin their once-in-a-lifetime journey through one of South America's smaller but more diverse countries. These students would get the chance to travel to all four of Ecuador's regions. These four regions include the Andes Mountains, where their new home and the capital city of Quito is located at 9,350 feet above sea level. The other regions are the coast, the Amazon rainforest, as well as the famous Galapagos Islands. The Universidad de San Francisco Quito is the best in Ecuador and a popular place to study abroad for students from various universities all across the United States. The university is used to welcoming foreign students and offers a program that pairs Ecuadorian students with international students so they get a chance to interact with the Ecuadorian students instead of falling into the trap of only speaking English with other American friends. The university also offers up a city tour for the students, giving them the chance to explore the historic center, getting the chance to see some of Quito's beautiful churches and understanding why they are voted a UNESCO World Heritage Site. International students are able to take a wide variety of classes, some geared only towards international students, as well as regular classes with other Ecuadorian students. Since Ecuador is such a small country, students find it easy to travel almost anywhere in the country on weekends. Long bus rides become a recurring normality in the lives of international students. But Quito also offers a few attractions within an hour from the city itself. Besides many beautiful parks and volcanoes to hike, those interested in geography can visit the small city just north of Quito called Mitad del Mundo, where you can find the equatorial line. Here, you can find some museums and science experiments to show the differences between the northern and southern hemispheres. Another popular attraction is the volcano Pichincha, overlooking Quito. A challenging hike, especially for those who have not yet been accustomed to the altitude, gives rewarding views overlooking Quito once you reach the summit at 15,406 feet above sea level. Quito also has many other volcanoes nearby. Some are still active, while others are extinct. Students also use their weekends to get a chance to see some of Ecuador's most beautiful attractions. One of these is Baños, a popular city for tourists looking to participate in adventure sports such as whitewater rafting, canyoning, and bungee jumping. As well as the swing at the end of the world, which gives you an adrenaline rush as you roar over the ravine, it is also the home to many large waterfalls that allow you to get closer than any U.S. national park would ever allow. Create memories that will last a lifetime. MSU's included trip takes you to T. Putini in the heart of Ecuador's Amazon rainforest. During this trip, students get to learn about the rainforest while climbing above the canopy, swimming in the Tiputini River, seeing many unique flora and fauna, and even getting the chance to eat ants. One of the most popular places to visit in Ecuador are the beautiful Galapagos Islands. Getting to walk in the footsteps of Charles Darwin, learning about his research there, and being able to see giant tortoises, iguanas, penguins, blue-footed boobies, seals, finches, and more. This opportunity is sure to leave you breathless while educating you more about Darwin's evolutionary theory. The beautiful Kilotoa Crater Lake inside an extinct volcano provides another strenuous hike to see this incredible and hidden lake. The pigments in the water create unique colors that give stunning views. All the incredible places to visit in Ecuador create an extremely diverse and exceptional study abroad experience. The Ecuadorian culture is welcoming to foreigners and gives students a chance to take classes, improve their Spanish, and travel through one of the world's most beautiful countries. Live, learn, Latin America. For more information, visit latinamerica.isp.msu.edu. Edited by Jessica Lundquist.